what is up legends another week another hype watch um we got a lot to talk about this week a lot of good stuff and you know i'm just gonna get right into it at this point and because we got a lot <laughs> so right off the bat you will see we got dark sky here um i wanted to show this because this is going to be coming out next month and less than a month actually um it's car based roguelike and you know with the deck build and everything else cards get stronger and a lot of people like stuff like this because it's like open world as you guys can see too as well so it's not just all card stuff and you get to actually have a little bit of fun to do different things so i wanted to throw it out there let you guys get a good look at it next up we have hive jump 2 survivors um i like roguelikes you guys know i just i just do um and you get up like look at this it's just like you know survival i like getting good getting um building exp getting good builds and then overcoming with that with those particular builds is, is a lot of fun to me so like stuff like this just gets me hyping i like i just want to play and see what i can get into so yes sir next up we have overboss overboss is a pretty interesting game because you basically become the bad guy so to speak and you know if you ever wanted to play those games like it reminds me kind of like with wario even though wario in his games he's not even like really the bad guy he's still a bad guy but he's not like the bad guy in his game but as you guys can see it kind of like a city builder slash dungeon crawler type of game and i actually like stuff like this so um i'm gonna try it out um there is a demo right here that you can pick up um but i'm probably gonna try to request and get the game because it comes out august 29th so if you want to be the bad guy go for it all right, so this is a little bit different. Uh, this is um, a, a back-end game engine, as you guys can see. Um, there's a lot of people who are trying to make a game or, you know, are making a game that's on my channel right now, including myself. Um, and I came across this when I was looking at engines and stuff like this. And this, of course, this is a back-end, you know, for all of your um, dealing with all, like, all the, like, again, like you see, like, it's literally saying a matchmaking cross-platform know all that type of stuff um so just wanted to put it out there for those people just in case you guys um wanted to get into something like this um this is just some of the stuff that you need to actually deal with next up is um cof heroes enlightenment or crystals of fate uh now this is interesting because this is ios only right now it will have a android version however um but people are telling me that this is actually pretty good like it's like um like a 3d legend of zelda like type of game um i don't really mess around with ios for the most part um but i did want to put it up there just in case one of you guys do and it might be something that you guys will get into you know on the ios and mac fans uh next up we have a game that's actually going to be mobile in um pc called key locker and as you can see it's um cyberpunk and uh, turn base and i i'm looking forward to this one too there's a demo right here this one's coming out the 18th so i'm um, just a little bit under a month from right now you see it's also similar to what octopath is so um i like the aesthetic right now and i like you know i'm i'm a shadow run type of fan so when i see games like this i instantly like oh i gotta show everybody this and you know it definitely people might definitely um try to pick this one up because i think it's gonna be pretty fun and next up um on pc side there is one more pc title which is the hype um just to be a hint uh crimson desert finally we finally have a big like kind of like triple a ish mmo it's going to be um, pretty much showing off at Gamescom. This is a big deal because there's not many games like this right now. And I am looking forward to this one. I, I, I definitely want this to do well because um, I actually like Black Desert, but Black Desert is too far gone. I don't think anybody's going to get into that now. It's too much in depth. They are, but they actually need to do with Black Desert is simplify it. That's what they, they actually need to do. Uh, but this game has a lot of potential right here and you know i definitely want to get into it as much as um, i can you know same company as black desert but i definitely i'm looking forward to this one and i'll put the link up for you guys on um, maybe if you are into mmos you definitely uh want to get into this it even has a trailer right here um which i'll probably not let the um the sound go 
and all of that. This game is definitely going to be amazing. It has why is the sound back again? Like com look at that. This, this just looks lit. Like you're just gonna have a lot of fun with this. Oh, he, did he throw a man at another man? Get wreck, sir. This story was almost a year old, but no, I I just want this game to play like this, and I know it will because Black Desert plays similar to like this. So I um I just damn you actually transform from that into a horse. That's pretty lit. You can transform here too, which is pretty lit as well. I don't even remember all that, but anyway, hop on in. It's gonna be lit. Also, next up on this side, we're going to have uh, Zenless came out with their latest update, which was amazing because Jane is amazing. Jane, like, taking over that. Like, she's about, about to be the sexiest rendered character I've seen in a while. And she's a mouse girl. Like, I, I, I can't reiterate and you guys know how much I don't be effing with the, like, the, the furry animal, like, type of characters like zoo who's but down there in the left is like more of my style so when they did this character i was like damn i, I kind of rock with it like she kind of cool like and she's she's sexy and obviously waifu bait but she's cool sexy and that's very hard to pull off and they managed to pull that off and including the character again on about it, this this lolly character down here um who's the current banner right now she's cool too in concept and i normally don't rock with the little lolly girl curl type of characters i'm like damn zenless is just making me play stuff that i'm naturally not even comfortable with i don't even know how they're pulling that off but they are next up weathering waves um so they actually put zuzi out here on now uh weathering waves is a little bit in trouble now it's still a great game don't get me wrong because i know a minute i say that people are going to be like oh my god he's bashing the game i'm not bashing the game the problem with the update and i played the update is that i don't feel the game change that much even though even though they're giving a five star for free in the second half like you just get it when you do an event and everything else like that this character i actually want this character but i i kind of want to see if they're going to hint what we're getting next update which it probably won't they'll probably do it in the second half and then you won't be able to get her stuff like this i think um she's like adorable sexy and that's kind of like hard to pull off too and she's got like her kid is kind of cool and stuff like this but i think when you get to level 90 it's too grindy and um and weathering waves right now like you need too much resources and there's not enough resources to actually get beyond just spending it and that's tampering the game it's making you like just not even stick around on um, the play in it and when people feel like they can't build things properly that's when you start to see that drop off and i'm gonna start I'm, I'm this is where they're gonna start to um the round out around five to ten million until they address stuff like that and they start getting people back in for the hype because i think this is a really good game and they got a lot of potential they just have to work on it and they have to actually promote more they don't promote more they need more um they need more content creators who are positive actually covering the game because majority of the content in this game is being dramatic or drama about something that they don't like when they should have not been in the game in the first place to even say that they don't like it <laughs> um but with that said um they need to promote more um they do have a creator program but that okay, it, it's the incentive for the creator program is is sad and I've actually even talked to them about how to get more people into there. Um, like, to, well, Kuro, not necessarily like the Wither Way people, but Kuro in general. I even talked to them about that. Well, um, about that with um, with PGR. And I also suggested with Wu, I was like, you have to do better than this. There's game companies that are making less millions than you that are doing better than this. People are just going to play and cover those games and ignore Wu. And that's kind of like what's happening right now that's why they're in trouble it's, it's management that's messing up now not necessarily the game so is what it is like hopefully Kuro will listen and not get an ego and 
and then get more people to actually cover the game and then actually spend a little bit of money themselves to promote the game they need commercials and need ads the same way they need to come with the same energy that they came with before the game even came out they had like a tour they had cosplayers running around and everything else like this you need to keep that energy you can't just all of a sudden just not do it bro anyway speaking of free five star Genshin out of nowhere which I find highly ironic decided that they're going to give free that five star too now you get to pick which one that you want but they're doing it and their 5.0 just came out um you know basically right here um and there she is right there that is the the fire archon right there being the baddie um bam that's a baddie right there she looked like himiko but that's a baddie but yeah uh goddess of victory is now coming through with their evangelion collab coming on the 23rd i have like no currency in that game so i have no hope but here they are all four of these characters me in the game which means masato is probably going to be sr um because marie ray and asuka are all ssrs you guys can see so you know there's, there's that um I'm, I'm gonna play the event like see the event and what's going on but i'm probably definitely not gonna be able to get anything i have no currency <clears throat> in, in the k right now and haven't really played that much right now not that the, the k did anything wrong it's just that i stopped playing a lot of stuff overall also coming soon is snow breaks new character which is her right here so you know check that out she's funny she's definitely funny obviously waifu bait because that's what um snow break does that's what they uh, that's what she does and she she's actually really trying to come after the mc so that's a thing uh so next up on mobile side before we get to the final thing uh Simon is rumble um this is an nft game just you know just to warn you guys out but they put a lot of budget into this game like even like the cinema right here they actually trying um great i don't know if anybody's gonna give it a shot right now obviously nft game the games are not very popular but you know we'll see um phantom rose is pretty much like a side scroller um roguelike uh card based game i uh, just want to put it out there maybe somebody will be you know at least they're liking demon sorcerer's idol uh I, I like you see this right here i think this might be cool i want to see fighting like that like this looks like it's going to be lit so i just wanted to put this out there this is um going to be coming out soon so we'll see it's another idol game so you know how that goes um katsubuki uh, city ensemble the, the only reason why this is even here i like music and i like you know messing around with this and a lot of people actually on my channel like stuff like this but i can never show it because you two will flag it to hell and back and then be like why are you putting flag stuff on the channel we going to flag you and i'm like bro can we can we just not even we just just not just not even supposed to cover this stuff no more now i don't get it and last but certainly not least, Dragon Age The Veil Guard. It has a date now, October 31st, which is two months from now. I am hype. Every Dragon Age is peak. People could hate, but every Dragon Age is like, oh damn, got, got that romance option and everything. Dragon Age always got the romance too. And the mods be peak too. I can't wait to see what the modders do with this game. You know they're gonna come through because they the, every Dragon Age they be coming through. Like they literally change like the entire game into something else to be lit. Like like, bro, who remembers the other Dragon Ages? Oh, uh, like when uh, they had the the um, romance option um, extension on the last one, and you literally had like a damn harem, and they would fight like for you and then like they would take over and then you had like the um the chick who were, who had like the the english accent who was like the black girl like she was the best one because she was pretty and her accent was awesome but yeah anyway this is gonna be peak you guys know every time i every time i show something like the hype of the week is it always ends up blowing up um and i always have like insight but i already know that this is gonna be like if you're looking for like the next it game that's it right there 
Bro, look at these cards. What's going on? Caught red handed cheater. What is going on? Dragon Girl details you missed. Character creator. Look, they got one like click all these links when you get a chance to. What is Asbury? Asbury is always dramatic for no reason. Sir, you, you're going to have a heart attack before you get 40. You're going to have to calm down. I'm going to need you to calm down. Like, you know, he always, whatever. Trump actually, that whole title is funny. <laughs> and on that note, that's all I got for you guys in this video. Look, look at the, look what the algorithm throwing at me. This algorithm weird. And Hope you guys enjoyed this week. And there was a lot of games. I ended up talking about a lot of stuff. More so than what I would normally do. Because there was a lot of um, like update stacks to talk about. With like Zenless and Wuthering and Genshin. And Snowbreak. And then Decay. Stop of that. Those are like the top of gross right now too. And it just so happens that they all announce updates. Like right around when I was doing this video. So I was like alright I gotta come through. And you know. Just represent. <laughs> so to speak. So. Catch you guys next video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, we got to increase subs on the channel, increase views. I always appreciate everything. Definitely leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think because it helps the algorithm. And yeah, peace.